You are listening to The Mind of AGP, a weekly take on marketing, video, storytelling, and, well, the world. Here is your host, Adam Grubb. All right, welcome in to The Mind of AGP for January 30th, 2019. The big game is this weekend, Super Bowl Sunday. For those of you that are going to be tuning in to watch the game, you're in the minority. Most people are watching the Super Bowl for the prop bets, how long the national anthem is, the halftime show, and, of course, the commercials. Now, most don't realize that Super Bowl commercials have not always been the spectacle that they are today. In the 1960s, commercials were only $34,000 for that game. Today, they're $5 million. Now, yeah, that's inflation and that's everything else, but it really is uh, goes back to 1984 where the first Super Bowl commercial that really made an impact on a brand and changed the face of advertising ran. You might remember it. It's from Apple, and this was the last 10 seconds that have now become iconic. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh, and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. So that is the Macintosh ad from Apple. And that ad was specifically to promote and announce the personal computer in your house was coming soon. Before then, technology was looked at as, um, as uh, I guess, evil. And one of the uh, reasons for that ad was to show that the collective fear of technology was not accurate. It was not to be feared. And that was coming from Apple. Chiat Day was the ad agency behind that spot. Ridley Scott was the director behind that spot. And the story behind it is unbelievable. It almost didn't run. And it almost, uh, well, it almost didn't run. And then it did run. And it changed the face of marketing as we know it today. And that's not a dramatic statement. It literally did just that. It showcased that a brand can, doesn't have to necessarily even show their product. It can tell a story. And it can run in the biggest game of the year, and it can change the perception of a product and of a brand instantly, and can cause people to look at that ad now as one of the most innovative, creative, and distinctive ads that's ever run. <clears throat> if you've not seen it, YouTube it. Basically, it's a, it's a bunch of people in this, in this big theater, and the man is, is talking to them, and chanting at them basically and this woman comes running down the aisle in the middle of the theater with a hammer and throws the hammer up against the screen breaking the screen and thus breaking the fear of technology that technology will not take over your mind it will not turn you into these uh, lazy oh wait a minute it did i think you understand the point though back in the 80s that was the thing don't worry we're going to bring a computer into your home and it's going to be a good thing so don't be fearful of technology technology changes the world and it did just that as did Apple. And without that commercial, we might not have the things that we have today because Apple might not be the company that they are today until then without the success of the Macintosh. Now, Steve Jobs knew that there was going to be a lot of questions after this, after that commercial ran. And so he went up and he, and he bought a 20-page insert in a Time and Newsweek just to help explain, here's what we're doing. Here's the product itself. Here is the, the personal computer as we know it. And uh, he even did product spots around it. So that commercial was just the beginning. <clears throat> but it almost didn't run because when they showed it to the board who were already nervous about something different and something unique and, 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 and not the normal commercial, knowing that hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people were going to be watching that and talking about it the next day and for years after, they were a little skeptical and they were concerned. They were so concerned that as soon as they showed the, the agency showed the ad, the completed ad, on the Thursday before Super Bowl to the board of directors from Apple. Somebody uh, stood up and immediately motioned to fire the agency. <laughs> you know, oh, no, 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 no. My God, fire them. And then they sold off two of their spots. So they had a 60 and two 30s to run in the Super Bowl. So they had two 30-second versions of that. They sold those off to Heinz and uh, Hertz. Heinz Ketchup and uh, Hertz Rental Car, and they kept the 60. 
the true Apple launch that day. I'll be honest with you. When you look back and they say, hey, we went ahead and ran that spot and it was iconic and it changed the world. That is what Apple was then. And that is what Apple is today because they're creative, they're bold, seemingly indifferent to criticism. And they started a revolution of tech. And quite frankly, they changed the world that day, all with a Super Bowl ad. The Mind of AGP, January 30th, 2019. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the game this weekend, and we'll see you next week as we go back inside the mind of AGP. Video, marketing, storytelling, and the world. Presented by Adam Grupp Productions. Your story told differently. We'll talk to you later.